Moving on, the much-awaited top leadership committee of China has been announced. Xi Jinping has secured a historic third term as a general secretary of the party, and he is all set to head the military commission again. This makes him the nation's most powerful leader since Mao Zedong. Li Qiang has been named the new premier of the Chinese Communist Party. Many analysts had predicted him to take the position. The 63-year-old was in charge of Shanghai when it went into its two-month lockdown. He is a long-time loyalist to Xi Jinping and has even worked as a chief of staff to the president. Now on your screens are the rest of the five members. Experts say Xi has elevated his loyalists and ousted liberals from the key committee. To no one's surprise, not a single woman has been elected at the top position. After announcing his new team, Xi addressed the media and laid out a roadmap for the future. The honors has been put on the young and hardworking. Xi thanked the party for their trust and for achieving a quote-unquote moderately prosperous society. Coming to the global front, Xi offered an important clue about China's future direction. There has been growing fear that the country is closing off from the world economy. But Xi says the world needs Beijing. Just as China cannot develop in isolation from the world, the world needs China for its development. Through over 40 years of relentless reform and opening up, we have created the twin miracles of fast economic growth and long-term social stability. The Chinese economy has great resilience, potential, and latitude. Its strong fundamentals will not change, and it will remain on a positive trajectory over the long run. China will open its door ever wider. We will be steadfast in deepening reform and opening up across the board and in pursuing high-quality development. A prosperous China will create many more opportunities for the world. The final day of the Congress was overshadowed by the visual on your screens. Veteran leader Hu Jintao was asked to leave the stage at the Great Hall. While the reason still remains unclear, it has raised many questions. He looked visibly reluctant to leave. At more than one occasion, he was seen protesting. All this unfolded as one official maintained his tight grip of Hu's arm. The frail-looking 79-year-old even bent to speak to Xi Jinping, but the president kept looking at the front. At one point, Hu even tried to grab some papers kept between the two, but Xi snatched away the documents. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.